Welcome, in front of me is an LG K11 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see, the phone in front of me is locked and you want to proceed first by connecting to Wi-Fi, which as you can see, I already am, and then go back to the first page right here. Now you want to tap on accessibility, let's go into the settings, scroll down to see switch access, tap on it, enable it, turn on, go back and go into the settings of it, tap on help and feedback. And then in a search for help and feedback, you want to search for Morse code. So M O, there we go, use Morse code, tap on the play button. Then tap on the three dots and go into watch later. Tap on continue and no thanks. And then in the search bar, you want to go into hard reset.info. That info, like so. Let's go. And tap on the three bars right here. Go into download. And in a download field, you want to search for Android. Android 7.1.2, as you can see right here. And tap on search. Scroll down and you'll find a download link for it. And again, scroll down and tap on the download. Continue and allow and tap on OK. And it will download the file. There we go. So as you can see, it's finished downloading. Now we want to go back to the first page or well, let's go back 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 okay yeah. and then here on, on accessibility if you went one too far for instance here just go back to accessibility and tap on vision from here enable talkback okay and disregard that it opened it up right here so once it's enabled you want to hold power key select power off and restart tap on it once to select it as it is right now then double tap it and then Tap. Can this get out? There we go. So you want to, behind the wording there is power off, uh, you want to tap on it again once and then double tap to select it. And wait for it to turn off and back on. Okay, so now that it's on, you want to use two fingers to scroll down uh, from the top of the screen like so if this would actually disappear can i get rid of this somehow it would be nice there we go so there we go Again, swipe that down. Great. So I guess I have to go through this again uh, because you won't be able to pull it down again without restarting. So let's try that again. Okay, so once you see this, you want to slide down with two fingers like so and go into the settings. So once you tap on it once, it gets selected and double tap again to go to it. And now we can disable the talk box. So hold volume up and volume down till you see uh, this pop up and tap on OK and double tap again on it. And now we can normally use it. So let's go to general here. And there's a couple things that we're gonna do. So number one, let's go into security, uh, fingerprint and security, and enable unknown sources. So we can install the app. Then above that, you have phone administrator, go into it, disable find my device, deactivate 
and go back and then we also want to go one back and here in general find apps tap on the three dots and go into show system and you want to deactivate the there we go somewhere on g so there it is google account manager disable yep go back and google play services disable yep and go back go back yeah so now we will need to go into storage so we can install the app so storage right here explore at the bottom go into download there's the app so tap on it next install And tap on done once it's installed go back go back back once more back we want to go back to the apps and now we want to find where is it gonna be there it is gmail so tap on the gmail icon and then go into notifications and tap on the information icon right there and choose add account enable um, just enable this and go back let's choose google go back and disable this and let's try this can we do it like this there we go that's what we need to do so you don't want to actually enable that backup so let's go into here and type in your email address that you wish to use so I'm gonna use our okay let's go to next now you can always create one if you don't have an account. Uh, let me, oops, actually, I'm actually, I think, using a different email than I want to. Info, there we go. That's what I wanted to use. And I'm gonna put in a password for it. And then tap on next and you are basically logged in, so let's just tap on I agree. Now, it will show you that the app that we have installed stopped working. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, all Everything that we have done uh, will work now. So just go back, back. And let's see if it's going to take us. Okay, there we go. So I want to enable this. Uh, I'm sure I still have to go to apps. Uh, so go back back and there we go and again show system and we want to re-enable the two apps that we have disabled so there's the google account manager enable and the google play services is also already enabled okay and now all you need to do is hold power key and again select power off and restart restart and wait for the device to boot back up Now disregard the, the fact that the talkback is disabled or enabled in this case. You want to go back and exit. Let's go back here and uh, go back into the vision and disable talkback. Turn off. Okay, there we go. And now let's go back and proceed with the setup so let's just tap on skip next setup is new
and you can see account added that's the account that we have added before the restart of the device so let's just tap on next i didn't have to input here anything or verify as you just seen there we go now i don't want to add any kind of security so let's just tap on next without adding anything more more and more and accept I want to skip this. Upon next. I have read. Next and done. And we're now in the home screen. So from here, we will actually want to go into the settings app and perform a reset of the device. So close this. So let's go into general and then gonna be backup and reset okay and factory data reset at the bottom and unfortunately I don't think I can do it because of the battery I think yeah um, now what you want to do is just tap on reset phone and the phone will uh, start resetting and as you can see it will remove a bunch of things uh, that includes the account that we have just added but it will also remove the previous account completely so once the reset is done there is no need to confirm any kind of account and i will actually try to plug in the device and see if i can do it that way i think i can just find a cable i have one right here just give me a moment well it's nice uh, when I'm plugging Wi-Fi, apparently uh, Windows just decided to blue screen, so no, it doesn't seem to do anything. So uh, yeah, I won't be able to reset it, but basically once you reset it, you can set up your device as however you like, and that will be it. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.